So what is an experiment? Or what is being experimental? One definition could be change. Changing what is expected. Change and experimentation were in the air across Europe during the Romantic period. There were social events, the revolution in France, the creation and growth of cities and industry. There are corresponding changes in the arts. Painters like J.M.W. Turner, composers like Beethoven and Schumann, and highly distinctive writers and poets were all linked to romanticism and to change. This kind of experimentation definitely had a purpose. Experimentation doesn't necessarily have to push boundaries for the sake of being subversive, although it may do that, but these changes were done for a reason. The Romantics lauded individuality and freedom of expression. They loathed and rejected limitations on creativity and created art that put the individual's experiences and emotions back at the centre of what art was about. A quote from the poet William Blake perhaps best captures this mindset with lines like, no bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings, from the Proverbs of Hell. He would have hated presentations. In fact, all the romantic poets, and poets and artists in general, would have had something to say about forced kinds of expression. But because experience was so powerful for these writers and artists, this could only spill into their work. William Wordsworth is one of the most well-known romantic poets, and his poetry often seems to capture the feeling of this time. But as an individual artist, he thought about how his poetry should be presented and what he was trying to achieve with it. He saw that his best poetry was a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings, but he also recognised that the poet had thought deeply about his subject and how to present it. He could see the necessity of innovation, experimentation and the positive effects of regular form. But were Wordsworth's lyrical ballads themselves experimental? Written in 1798, the lyrical ballads are now one of the most well-known works by Wordsworth and Coleridge, and Wordsworth's preface is considered a work of literary theory. Wordsworth's aims were explicitly experimental, but looking back today, this may not be so certain. <laughs>